Junior Aaron Doyle is taking over under center for the Tarleton Texan football team and is currently leading the Texans through their spring workouts. The signal caller from Evan is in his third offensive system at Tarleton, but is in his second season in the Tarleton Air Raid offense and picking up right where former quarterback Nick Stevens left off. Uh, he looks great. The, the exciting thing about Doyle is when the pocket collapses or something ever goes wrong in a play, uh, he's got the ability with his speed and his feet to, to still make a play happen. Um, excited about what he brings to the table. There's, there's nothing that's changed in our system from a year ago. I mean, we, we, we installed an offense that I wanted to install. Um, and and I, we wanted the air raid offense. There's nothing that's changed with our play calling, our linemen. I mean, there's, there's nothing that has changed. Aaron can run the ball a little bit more, but, um, you know, we're going to be able to throw the football. And, uh, and there's really nothing changed. You know, his first year he got hurt. Um, and broke his hand and uh, had staph infection and was really away from football period for the whole year. So he really never knew that system. And then he came in his second year um, when he was a redshirt freshman and he played in two games and he got hurt and he really in that system. So when he came back, he's really never been in a full year of a system. So this is really, you know, the system he learned last year um, that he knows well, got every rep in the spring because Nick wasn't able to go. Um, played, played some significant minutes for us last year. Uh, got hurt there towards the end of the year, so while we didn't see him late, you know. And and then uh, and now every rep this spring, you know, he's. He, I mean, it's. He knows it as well as what Nick did because he's had a lot more playing experience in this system than Nick Stevens did. So you know, it's just it, uh, it's just growing, understanding reads, understanding the coverages, and understanding. You know, just the game of football is where Aaron has to learn, and, and that's what he's been able to do. He wasn't ready in that situation a year ago. Um, he, I really feel like now that he's making that stride now in his second year and understanding and never having to look behind himself now. You know, Aaron is the starting quarterback. You know, I told him, you're not looking back. I'm not bringing a transfer in here. This is your job. These other guys are competing it, but I'm telling you today, Aaron Duell is the starting quarterback, you know. Um, because of what he can do on the football field with his feet and his arm. I mean, we got kids that can throw it. This kid can do things with his feet that, that make you a whole lot better than a guy that can just throw the thing. I feel like uh, since we've already been in the system for a year, it's uh, helped out tremendously. I mean, last spring is a new offense we are putting in, and, uh, and it, it's helped a lot this spring having a, having a year of experience. And then we, I mean, we, we look a lot better from, from, from the fall to the spring. And, uh, I mean, we have great core receivers and running backs, and uh, I expect great things in the fall. Doyle will take over for the former Division One transfer, Stevens, who is currently looking to continue his career in the NFL. Oh, it, it, it's huge. I mean, because, I mean, you look at guys like Aaron Rodgers who got to kind of sit back for a while and, and, and learn and uh, – learn from far as mistakes and, and take the good things from his game and implement them into his game. And, and I kind of try to do the same thing, just uh, try to learn from Nick's mistakes and then at the same time take the good things that he did and put them in my game. Uh, he's done a good job. Uh, I think just being under Nick has helped him to uh, just kind of sit back and observe, uh, learn the system. Uh, he's taken on more of a leadership role uh, with Nick gone now. But all the quarterbacks have done a good job of kind of stepping up and trying to fill the void. You know, I think if, if Nick had never shown up here, and, and it was, you know, it was by the luck of the draw, do you get a, a guy like Nick and, and, and knowing what we're seeing out of Nick right now, getting a chance playing the NFL, you know, if Nick had to have gone somewhere else or stayed at the University of Tennessee, Nick would still be getting the same exposure in the NFL, but Aaron, everybody would know who Aaron was. Um, you know, the kid comes here with, he's an incredible athlete. Um, and, he's, and when you look at him, you think he's a linebacker. You know, he's 6'2", he's 230 pounds and runs 4'4 four, four flat. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just excited because he's a better man than he is probably a quarterback. You know, I think he's going to be a great quarterback, but he's a wonderful human. I mean, he's the, I mean, he's an unbelievable person. He's great for this football team. He's got a great leader. He can do everything. He can throw every ball. And, and not many times you get a quarterback coming out of high school that you can say can throw every ball. You know, of course – um, when you can throw the deep comeback from the hash, that gives you an advantage. You can't blitz him because if you blitz him and you don't get him, he'll 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 make you pay with his feet. Um, reminds me of a kid we had at Midwestern, you know, a guy named Daniel Polk. And if you blitzed him, you were worried about what he did when the play that you called didn't work. That you were worried about what he did with his feet. And, and Aaron brings that same element to us.
I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, it's exciting, you know, it's my job, but I feel like it had to change my approach any because I still, even when even when Nick was here, I, I still try to compete and, uh, and and be the starter. But I know it's exciting knowing that, that this is my team now, so I'm excited. Doyle may be the incumbent starter, but there are several others competing for that coveted number two spot behind him. Fifth-year senior Jake Finsky is making a big impression among the Tarleton coaching staff. Jake Finsky is uh, is really battling right now. Um, the biggest thing for Jake is he can deliver the ball uh, where it needs to go. Um, he doesn't have uh, the speed to be an elusive runner, um, but he's uh, a more pocket quarterback that can uh, make some plays happen. Um, Chance Wallace, the guy out of Canton, um, who, who had a, a great career as a quarterback out there, uh, similar type of deal. He can run it a little bit as well. Uh, but he's got a, a good vision for the defense and being able to get the ball out of his hands and, and to the correct guy. Colin Strahan from Ski Horn, um, he's probably the, the most exciting uh, and being able to make a play happen. Um, a little bit of a, of a gunslinger back there, uh, but he understands the offense and what we're trying to do and he can deliver the ball to the open receiver. Um, but he's a little bit like Doyle, he's exciting whenever he tucks and runs. And uh, Jake Hart, young man out of Divine, um, a little bit like Fenske. He can sit back there in the quarterback in the, in the pocket and kind of pick him apart. The guy I'm most pleased with is Jake Fenske. And uh, you, when, when you got a guy like Aaron who will take off with it and plays with a reckless abandon, and it, you know, does that scare you? Not when you got Jake Fenske, who's a fifth year senior, who's you know been here and knows the systems every you know inside and out every one of them that we've been through and now he's in his second year in his second spring understanding that uh, Jake is a tremendous leader I wish that everybody had opportunity to get to know Jake Finsky because he, he he's, a, he's a devout Christian kid that that does everything right um, that wants to compete wants to, you know I want to see Jake play you know I want to see Jake play because um, you know, and there's going to be we're, Jake's going to get some time at quarterback. We're not going to wait and see if something were to happen. Knock on wood that it doesn't happen to Aaron, but we're not going to wait and see. Jake Finsky will get some playing time for us next year. Significant in crunch time playing time for the Texans. He's a he, and he's ready for that. He's a fifth year senior. You know, he's developed and you know uh, that I think that that makes you you sleep a little easier at night when you got a fifth year senior who's been de devoted to this program and devoted to the betterment of this program. Is watch the change and, uh, and and all the things that he does on and off the football field. It makes you sleep easy. Know that Jake Fisky's your backup quarterback. Tarleton will wrap up spring practices with its annual spring game Friday, April 20th at 7 p.m. Doyle, Finsky, and the rest of the Texans will get to debut their skills for the Tarleton faithful, and the coaching staff will get one last look at the future of Texan football. Uh, it's been good. It's been good. I want those guys to step up and continue to grow as leaders uh, and be the coach in between the white lines. Uh, biggest thing I stress is that the other guys on Saturday that are that are out there on the field, you know, as coaches, we're either in the press box or on the sideline. Uh, so somebody's got to have the voice out there, and uh, and those guys are coming along uh, and being the coach on the field. Yeah, just execute the offense. You know, don't you know? I, you know, I've learned real quick that no matter what you do, you, when the quarterback walks off the field every day, he has to have a good day. You've got to be able to put them in situations that they can have a good day. And, and that's all I want to see him, you know. And, and then, you know, Colin Strahan is a kid that comes here as a, as a freshman now. He's pushing because he can run and, and he doesn't have the arm strength that they made, but he's got the same type of feet that, that Aaron does. So I want to see those three kids. And it's, a th you know, th those are three quarterbacks that get the, the significant playing time. But execute the offense. Don't try to do too much. Don't force the football. Aaron, if it's not there, run, baby, run. And, and you know, just create, you know, create problems defensively, you know, I, you know, I don't want to see them take care of the football. That's it. You know, they, 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 and both of them can run. You know, Jake's not a, a bad athlete. I mean, he can run the football too enough to that you've got to honor him. If you don't honor him on the run game, he'll pull that he'll pull that thing and run down. Don't even blitz him. He can make he can make plays with his feet. But just execute what we do. Have fun. Relax. You don't have to worry about a, a big time quarterback coming in here from a division one because I think they're big time quarterbacks.